Um, just for those uh, present here, why this tree has been planted is um, with the blessing of um, the Waimedi ex residents. And uh, when I was the mayor and Sandra was the mayoress, we used to go to their annual dinners, uh, which they held once a year. Uh, it was really amazing who lived in, in Christchurch that you didn't know that were from Waimati. And when we first went there, there was probably 150 would come to the dinner. Uh, and so that was really brilliant. But as the years went past, I think the last one we went to, there was probably nearly 100, but um, yeah, there was a lack of interest. And it was a shame because I felt that um, there was a lot of younger ones, and I know like Jim Rayner's um, son, he lived up there, and, and quite a few that could have went and supported it, but they didn't feel they like they busy. wanted to yeah, do that. So, you know, we had Baileys and Sue Hoys and all those ones that uh, were ex Waimeti. So it was a really good catch up, and what I used to do was uh, give them a, a brief of what's happening in Waimeti and give them cheek about why did they sell when they sold, because they would have doubled their money if they still had. <laughs> investments in Waimeti so uh, yeah so and they quite appreciated uh, that um, up to date of what was happening in Waimeti so mm. um, so Sandra and I were the last to attend on behalf of um, uh, the mayors down here so 